Now available in paperback and e-readers, Isis, Revenge of the Cyber Goddess. The Goddess Next Door takes on the threat of a deadly digital diva driven to destroy the world in this action-packed all-new Isis series adventure. Get Isis, Revenge of the Cyber Goddess featuring a bonus pin-up and the other two books in the Cyber Goddess saga at online bookstores everywhere today. Beta males have one major character flaw that is their undoing. And that character flaw that is their undoing is the fact that they just do not know when to quit while they're ahead. Now, your average critical thinking man knows when enough is enough, and they know when to walk away from a situation. Unfortunately, because your beta male is an emotional individual, what happens is, in many situations, he lets his ego and his greed get involved, and what happens is, his ego and his greed make it where his successes turn quickly into failures. Now, your beta male, oftentimes, he just does not know when to quit while he's ahead, because a lot of times he lets his ego get the better of him. And because he's so caught up in his emotions regarding his ego, he oftentimes writes checks with his mouth that his backside can't cash. And oftentimes when he runs his mouth, he winds up losing in a fight because he just does not know when to shut up. Now again, the average everyday critical thinking man can look at a situation, look at people's body language, look at nonverbal cues, and be able to assess that situation and realize that sometimes it's better to keep your mouth shut and walk away, but your beta male, because he does not know when to quit while he's ahead, he just keeps talking, and then he winds up in a situation where he winds up catching a beatdown where he could have just easily de-escalated things by just putting a period at the end of things. And that's another reason why your beta male winds up getting jammed up, because he just does not know when to stop talking. And oftentimes, this is what undermines him not only in situations as related to conflict, but it also messes him up in the dating scene, because oftentimes, there will be women who will be interested in a beta male, ready to give this guy her phone number, but what your beta male will do is, because he does not know when to quit while he's ahead and the deal is done, what he does is he keeps running his mouth and saying stupid things, and what it, that does is it turns the woman off and it makes her want to not give this guy her phone number because he goes out here and he shows her a side of his character that practically turns her off because he keeps running his mouth. Now your beta male in, in dating situations will also be this close to getting the panties and then he'll have, the woman will be bringing him to the house and ready to go, but what he will do is run his mouth and then it will go from her being ready to go out here and have sex with the beta male to her saying that she has some place to go. And that's all because your beta male just does not know when to quit while he's ahead and understand that he's about to accomplish what he wants to accomplish. Now, this one of the big problems with your beta male is that he just doesn't understand the whole concept of putting a period at the end of things. This is something most men learn at an early age from their fathers, if they have good fathers and men in their community, they learn that once you have finished the goals you have set, you then put a period at the end of things and move on. But your beta male does not know how to go out here and resolve situations. No, he because he's insecure, what he does is he's looking to keep the situation going on because he wants to keep attention focused on himself. However, when he keeps all of that attention focused on himself, what that does is it escalates the situation 
and it alienates the people around him. So he goes from being a, closing a deal in many cases to winding up with the deal falling through because he just can't shut up. And he winds up losing everything because he does not know when the, everything has been accomplished and the deal is done. And because he does not know that everything is finished, he keeps on talking and then talks himself right out of what he's trying to accomplish. Whether it be a situation where he's in a conflict, he the thing could be settled, but he'll talk himself into a fight, or he could be in a dating situation where there's a woman who's, again, about to give him a phone number or even about to have sex with him, and he will talk himself right out of that situation because he does not understand when the deal is finished because he's always in his feelings and not critically thinking about a situation to hear the other person. He's so busy trying to talk and persuade the person into agreeing with his terms, he can't hear that they are already saying yes. And because he's trying to get yes his way, he doesn't understand when the deal is complete. And this is one of the reasons why he always winds up losing all of the time and why he winds up in a situation where he goes from having success in his hands to the success turning into a complete failure. Now your beta males, they will sit there and have things going their way, but then they go out here and again run their mouths and run off People. They don't really understand the whole concept of learning how to shut up because sometimes there are situations where a man just needs to just shut his mouth and just let things flow. But the beta male, because he is insecure, because he is caught up in his ego, because he's scared of losing, he winds up ironically making himself lose because he just does not know when to quit while he's ahead. Now, similar to the beta male is the gambler because it's just beta males, just like gamblers, don't know when to walk away from the table. Now, again, a critical thinking man, if he's winning at a gambling table, whether it be poker or your 21 or your um, roulette wheel, he knows that the probability of him continuing to win is very small. So once he achieves his success, once he gets the money off the table, he wants to get that money off the table as fast as possible because he understands the longer he stays at the table, he's going to lose. But the beta male, because he is caught up in his ego about winning, caught up in his emotions about having success and caught up in his ego about being uh, the uh, successful and getting attention from people, he sits there at the table and takes the risk of letting it continue to ride, thinking that the, ta the night is going to go on as related to him winning all the time. And as he goes out here and gets caught up in his ego and his emotions, what happens is he goes from having the big stack of paper on the gambling table to having absolutely nothing on the table. And even worse, he winds up starting to become extremely desperate and looking to try to win again. And this is where your beta male goes from being a complete loser to becoming pathetic because after the beta male winds up losing the high ground, what he does is he starts scrambling to try to start getting the favor and approval of others. So after he winds up messing everything up, he then tries to go out here and beg and plead for people to come back, but he's already lost and he loses even more face by going out here and chasing those people because he just, because he just does not know when to shut up and he just does not know when to let things go, what happens is he goes from being a person that people respect 
to somebody people see as pathetic. And that's all because he just does not understand the whole concept of quitting while you're ahead. And the smart man knows when to quit while he's ahead. He knows that once he has achieved what he wants to achieve, what, once he knows that things instinctively are going the right way, he knows when to put a period at the end of things and just let stuff happen. But your beta male, because he wants everything to happen in a way that makes his world smooth, he winds up creating a problem where he winds up with nothing at the end of the day. And this is what happens because your beta male, again, never knows when to quit while he's ahead and never understands that sometimes it's better to stay silent than to speak and wind up saying something that alienates people. This is a concept he just has a hard time understanding, and this is why he's straight losing all the time. I mean, he will have the girl's phone number, he will have a chance to go to her house, he will have opportunities at getting good jobs and making good money, but, and he will have opportunities at relationships with people, but because he can't shut his mouth and he keeps pushing things, what he does is he pushes people away and then he sits there and wonders why he cannot have successful relationships because the main reason is he's his own worst enemy and because he does not understand concepts like boundaries, concepts like critical thinking, and concepts like studying people's in body language and instincts, what he does is he winds up undermining himself because he doesn't understand that part of success is learning how to finish what you start, and sometimes you just need to let things finish and move on. Because he keeps talking, he talks himself out of things, and he just winds up going out here and running people away because he starts revealing parts of himself that we really should not see, or he just starts acting after he loses so desperate nobody takes him seriously. But a smart man, again, understands that there's a time to quit while you're ahead because once you've made the gains you need to gain, you need to get out of there because you finished what you've needed to accomplish and once you finish what you've accomplished it's time to just move on but again your beta male is a person who just does not know how to resolve things or conclude things because he's just so desperate to keep getting the attention for himself not understanding that sometimes it's best to not have attention and have what you've accomplished than to keep looking to keep getting more and more attention and then wind up losing everything because you stayed too long. A smart man knows that so when it comes down to staying in a situation, you don't want to stay too long. You just want to stay long enough to say what you're going to say, accomplish what you're going to accomplish, and then let the people in your life be able to just go on with an impact that you've had. No, these guys, they want to continue maintaining the center of attention, and they want to stay at that place permanently, not understanding everything in life is just temporary, and what you want to do is stay long enough to get what you need out of the situation, and then get out of there, and once you get out of there, you have what you need, and you're going to be trust in God in case you need more. But because these guys are extremely insecure, they don't trust in God and they don't trust anyone. And because they don't trust anyone, they just sit there and try to convince you to continue staying with them. And as they stay too long, they wear out their welcome because they just don't know when to quit while they're ahead and add value to, their, to people. They don't really understand that the shorter you stay, the higher you increase your value. The, le the less time you spend with people, the more they value you. And the less that you say and make your points and move on, 
the more interested people are in what you're going to say. The longer you sit there and continue to go on, the you make it where people don't really value you because you don't value yourself and your time. One of the most important intangibles because time is something you can't get back, but your beta male by default doesn't understand the concept of time and that's why he continues to go on instead of quitting while you're ahead. And every man has to learn how to quit while he's ahead because that's how you make great gains because when you know when to quit while you're ahead, that's how you achieve the greatest success. A smart man always keeps his mouth shut until he needs to speak and he says what just needs to be said but and no more because that's how you have an impact because the guy who talks too much, the guy who continues to push when he doesn't need to push, all he does is alienate people and drive people away. And your beta male, he just never understands this concept of quitting while you're ahead, and that's why he's always behind and the game of life. Now, if you want to see me make more men's issues videos like this, you can donate to my Patreon, my PayPal, or my Cash App by clicking the links in the description box. And if you want to try some of my men's issues books like The Man Crisis, Stop Simpin', Stop Simpin' in the Workplace, Manginas, They Look Like Men But They Act Like Ladies, and The Misadventures of Captain Save Em, you can find all of those books on Amazon.com in paperback and Kindle format. You can also find them in digital format on Smashwords, the iBook Store, and Google Play. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Coming to paperback and e-readers, e-steam cancel vacation. Elle's aspiring angel takes on a social justice social media mob looking to cancel her in this all-new e-steam series adventure. Pre-order e-steam cancel vacation on Amazon.com today.